Hey, it's Sean. I have these European buildings from 6millimetergaming.com. Uh, I did a review on them, and now I'm going to do some painting on them. I primed them with a light brown. It's a uh, can of camo paint that I've gotten at Walmart. It's very flat, so it's nice for painting these kind of models. Uh, so I'm going to get these painted up so that I can use them on my 6mm Cold War stuff. And they'll actually probably work for 6mm World War II as well. I'm going to paint the doors of the houses with Game Color Earth from Vallejo. I don't want it to be the same brown for the door, uh, so I'm going to use a little bit different color. I'm going to paint the windows as a base color, imperial blue from Game Color. Well, I've made pretty good progress on these. Got the doors, the windows painted, all the exterior boards and the roofs painted. Uh, I'm gonna do a little highlight on the windows of Electric Blue from Army Painter to kind of help them stand out a little bit better.
All right, I'm gonna use some War Painter Soft Tone on these buildings to darken them up a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna go over all the, the wood or the stuccoed areas, I guess, that they are. I'm going to dry brush the roofs with game color Beastie Brown. All right, I finished painting these houses from 6millimeterminis.com. They're also available at GameCraftMinis.com. They look pretty good. Real simple paint job. Put together pretty quick. Uh, but they'll look pretty decent on the table, I think. The uh, As I talked about in the review, this building is flat. It's just engraved to give the wood texture, whereas the rest have uh, raised. Uh, let's see if you can see it. There we go. So these wood panels are actually raised in the mold, whereas in this model they're flat. They're etched into the side. Uh, they paint up decent and I don't think you'll really be able to notice when they're you know, on a table next to each other. So it's not really that big of a deal, I guess. But uh, uh, either way, they all painted up pretty quick, pretty easy, um, and I'm happy with how they turned out. So these will be getting added to my terrain for my Cold War games. And actually these will work with uh, World War II as well. Uh, so that's nice, having something that works in multiple, for multiple games. So if you like this, you want to see more like it, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching.